Green flares? They don't really do anything, dude. They're just green. Red flares are the only the only ones that do something. Maybe in the future, green flares will actually work for extracts because they have said that uh, they want uh, flares to be used for extraction points one day. So maybe uh, one day we can actually use a green flare wherever the fuck we want and use that as an extract, which would be really, really cool. We have a podcast in about a week with Nikita. Trey and Desmond Pilak are going to be on it. And the entire point of the podcast is to talk about weapon balance. So recoil, ammo stats, ergo, stuff like that. Uh, and, you know, I'm really there to, to, to kind of delegate, but I just want, you know, train Desmond to give some feedback to Nikita when it comes to weapons. But I think the biggest issue with weapons in Escape from Tarkov is that you have guns like the RD-704 and the Mutant, which are 7.6239 guns that have less recoil than an M4 or 5.45 AK. That doesn't make any sense. It shouldn't be that way. Those, it does, those, those, that caliber does more damage and penetration and has less recoil than the smaller, faster round. That doesn't... That doesn't make sense. It shouldn't be that way. If it was up to me, what I would do with weapons in Escape from Tarkov, especially when it comes to like assault rifles or SMGs, uh, is I'd make them all pretty much the same, slightly. So like they would all be good. So there wouldn't be a meta. It would just be like, use whatever gun you want because they're all pretty effective. They all just have slightly different characteristics and different animations. And that would basically be it. Just so that that way it's like players can choose a weapon that they like based off like aesthetic and not feel like that they're using something that's just worse than something else. So it's like if you want to use like mutants or like the RD-74 or like an AKM, like, okay, it's going to be pretty good and would be kind of comparable to 5 for 5 and, and you know, 556 five, guns, but it's going to have slightly more recoil and the recoil pattern will be a little bit more sporadic just because it's a bigger round. Whereas if you chose an M4, um, you know, there's a lot of different ways you could build an M4, but it would have pretty decent recoil, but like the ammo does less damage and maybe there's like some other kind of trade-off, like maybe it's expensive if you really want to mod one out to like the, the fullest extent. But like the G36, for example, like it would also be kind of comparable to an M4, but it would have slightly more recoil just because it's a lighter weapon, but it would have higher ergonomics because it's light. Um, and obviously it not weighing a lot is also an advantage. Uh, and you know, same thing with like five for five AKs and, and other stuff like that too. Just because like w players should have the option to use all of the different guns that are in this game because there's so many different types of weapons available to them, but only like a per small percentage of them are actually like useful in terms of like meta value in, in terms of them being like late game effective. And that sucks. There's so many different guns and armor in this game, but yet players will only use a small percentage of them. Like I just, I just think that's so stupid in terms of gameplay design. Like you have all this variety, but yet your players who play your game all the time know that only 5% of that variety is actually worth using. It just seems like a really ass backwards weapon balance system to me. And then you have like, um, like here's another good example. Like you have the 300 blackout round, right? Really comparable to uh, 76239 BP, but it's slower and it has 10 plus recoil. And when you go over to BP ammo, Actually, I don't even think I can buy 7.6239 BP. Oh, no, I can. Five recoil, and it's faster. It, but it doesn't necessarily have the bleed chances. But, like, why? Why is that Why is that a thing? Like, this round and 300 blackout should basically be, like, right next to each other. They should be basically the same thing. It's just whether or not, would you rather use an AK, a mutant, or the RD-704? Or would you rather use the MCX? Just because you like the MCX more. But, like, when you compare them side by side, they would basically be the same fucking thing. With maybe, like, slight differences. And so that's what the podcast is really going to be about. And, um, you know, it's just I want to see more stuff viable in Escape from Tarkov. I want to see players like be able to identify a little bit more with the kits that they like to use and not feel like they're being cheated. Um, and by cheated, like, you know, if you fight a dude with a mutant, like a meta mutant versus like you have like a, a modded M4, it's like that mutant is going to have a higher TTK and lower recoil because it shoots a bigger round that does more damage and, you know, has just as much penetration as that 5.56 five, round. I just I just think that's just very stupid. Um, same thing with a lot of the subguns. Like the M the M MP7 is pretty much only worth using with subsonic ammo. Like any other ammo that you use, if you want to use APSX, like dude, that fucking increases the recoil by ten, and like the kick on this shit is ridiculous. Like some people would like to use the MP9. Like I fucking like the MP9 a lot, but that initial kick on the MP9 is ridiculous. It literally kicks more than a fucking AK. Why? It's a submachine gun. Submachine guns should literally be the best weapons in close quarter battle. They should be very easy to control, and they all should be more or less very similar. They should just have different ranges in terms of how expensive they are and like what the kind of pros and cons of each different one is. But at the end of the day, they should all be like good. Like nobody should be like, oh, that gun's shit. 
this one's good. It should be like, oh, they're all they're all pretty good. Like they're all they're all good at what they do. They just have you know slight slight differences between them. Um, and so you know, it's just like I, I want to see like because like there wouldn't be a meta in this game if everything was meta. If everything was good, right? Obviously, there's kind of differences. Like some guns would be cheaper than others and have slightly worse stats than others, but it wouldn't be like night or day, right? I, I would like to use more stuff in this game, but I don't. Like, I would love to use the G36 because I think the G36 is really cool and I love that gun in video games, but it fucking sucks. Why would I ever use it? Because it's fucking garbage. Like, it's just not worth using. It's not worth the fucking money. It's not worth me bringing into a raid and losing and dying because, like, I know that gun's just not going to perform well. Like, I'm not going to waste my fucking time. So that's what the podcast is going to be about. It, hopefully, you know, uh, we can see some, some changes to that in the future just because, you know, it's just... I don't know, man. It's just, it's shitty to not be able to experience all of the variety that this game has and not also have that vast variety of items feel useful. Same thing goes with like armor and stuff too, but armor will actually be a lot more useful, uh, in my opinion, like more and less useful when the new armor hitbox system comes in. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of players will start bringing in like some machine guns and shotguns. So this Corn, for example, has like, uh, you know, a level five plate and then there's soft armor that covers the collar and the side and the back of the shoulders where when you have like this hex grid here, like, you know, there's not any soft armor around it. It's just you have two hard plates and that's it. So like you have all these open zones all over your body. So if I were to like wear this right now, you can kind of see all of the areas where I can get shot in the torso in my armpit, back of the shoulders and stuff like that. And so people will bring like hollow point submachine guns and stuff like that, which will be pretty lethal. But guess what? That also highly increases the usefulness of things like Paka and Cor or Carissa, Carissa and like these level two and three armors that usually just get ignored. Those will actually have a meta value one day because the armor hitbox system will introduce a lot of danger to bringing in slicks in these higher level armors. And so I, I'm really excited for that just, just because it will nerf like level six armor like slicks and hexes a ton and, and you won't have to feel like you need to run like the highest AP ammo to kill people anymore. Um, and it, it's also going to increase the, the viability of like lower tier armors that, you know, normally just get ignored and are only used for maybe like three to four days in the wipe. Well, the thing is, is like, I, I don't I, like I, I didn't mean it like every single gun should be meta like of course you should be excited for ex finding a certain expensive guns and like some guns would be slightly better than others but like what I mean is like a meta uh, M M4 wouldn't be that much different than like a modded MDR but the MDR would be like maybe a little bit better on the ergo higher on the recoil you know so like you still would find like rare weapons and attachments like that still would be a thing but most of the guns at the end of the day you get from the traders anyway like you know it's like i don't know it's just i, I want to see more personality behind stuff because what happens every wipe is you just see the people running same gun same kit with the same attachments on it every single time there's no personality to any of the builds in this game whatsoever like this tx15 like yeah it has decent base stats because has the suppressor on there but this gun still has more recoil when spammed than a fucking full auto mdr 7639 ps is too overpowered for the price at two shots level four armor yeah no i agree i i uh yeah, I know. I, I agree big time. Um, I, I feel the same way about like Magnum Buckshot. Like Magnum Buckshot's 66 cents and it can pretty much one shot you if it hits you in the stomach. Legman is like brain dead fucking easy. Just get close and shoot them in the legs.